I would never go through TSA at the airport without my valuables securely zipped in a bag, either out a purse or a backpack. A zipper also works in high stakes conversations, but you have to zip your mouth, not a bag. A component of emotional intelligence is impulse control. In conversations, impulse control means that you have the ability to control your emotions. It's the ability to resist or avoid acting on that immediate impulse to make a snarky comment as a snappy comeback to a remark that you find upsetting, hurtful, perhaps offensive, or maybe even impertinent. It means you know how to zip your mouth. Impulse control means you listen to the other person. Then before you answer, you pause. You think, what effect will this comment have? And then you speak. It makes kind of a strange acronym, LPTS. Impulse control also means you refrain from disclosing something told to you in confidence. It remains in the vault. It also means you refrain from a perfect put down to a team member in a team meeting, such as, you are more dis disappointing than an unsalted pretzel. Or I totally forgot that the entire team was formed just to meet your needs. Oh, I apologize. How silly of me. If you follow the listen, pause, think, then speak, the LPTS model, you will be exercising impulse control. You will gain credibility and influence because you will make comments that advance understanding, collaboration, and cooperation. This is Carla Brando. Thank you for joining me in my inner circle.